Hello friends, how are you? I hope everyone is well. I am Natalia Bliss, a singer, pianist, and vocal technique teacher. Today, I will tell you about singing with your diaphragm and how to breathe correctly to improve your singing. Welcome to my channel of singing classes from scratch. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe and activate the notification bell to receive updates on my new videos. You can also give them a thumbs up if you like them. Now let's address a common misconception. You can't actually sing with your diaphragm. End of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Just kidding. You really can't sing with the diaphragm because it doesn't produce any sound. The diaphragm is a muscle, a semi-voluntary one and it can only be controlled in a certain way. However, when it comes to singing, especially if you want to have a stable voice and sing high-pitched and powerful notes, it is essential to become aware of and control your breathing. You need to know how to use the diaphragm and the muscles of the abdomen and back to support your voice. Now let me explain this with an example of an air balloon. Many times, I see this mistaken beginners during singing classes. They often take a shallow breath by raising their chest, which fills only the upper part of the lung. Then, they release the air quickly, creating a very airy, loose, and uncontrolled sound. <sighs> Breathing like this, the sound comes out very airy and weak. I notice that the jet of air coming out hits my resonator directly, making it much more powerful and focused, without being dosed or projected in another way to experience a more controlled and dosed airflow you can try creating a sound with vocal fry when done consciously you'll become aware of what's happening in your body your vocal cords will be well closed at that moment allowing only a very small gradual release of air Additionally, you'll feel slight support when singing a high and powerful note. You must release a minimal amount of air in a very controlled manner. If you exceed this amount, you will immediately notice a scratchy feeling in your throat, indicating that you are straining your voice. If you want to learn more about how to sing high notes correctly, you can watch my video on the topic. Let's start. First, what you don't have to do is raise your chest when you are taking in the air. Avoid this movement because it is not effective for breathing and it can lead to unnecessary tension. Look, you haven't even started singing and you're already feeling tense. <gasps> Instead, you should inhale the air in a relaxed and effective way. Place your hands on top of your ribs and try bending down a bit. Now attempt to inhale the air by opening your ribs without raising your chest. Otra vez. Initially, it may feel like a short breath, and you may need to control yourself to avoid raising your chest. However, trust me, it is a very effective way to breathe. Maintain a straight back and focus on filling only the area around your ribs, keeping your chest still. Otra vez. When you sing, you should feel like a donut that expands as you inhale the air. Let's try it out. Take the air diaphragmatically, like this. Notice that the area of your belly, including your back, contracts slightly. It's like a gentle contraction. Try taking short breaths. The diaphragm is a large muscle located here, separating our lungs and the rib cage. During daily breathing, the diaphragm moves involuntarily. However, when you singing, you must not breathe the same way you do in normal life. It requires a much more controlled and conscious approach. 
Remember, the diaphragm and respiratory support are not for pushing more air or forcing air out more forcefully. Instead, they help us control the flow of air and sometimes prevent us from releasing too much air. This control is similar to the feeling we get when we want to hold our urine. This muscle that we have below the navel contracts slightly. The sensation of the air under slight pressure that comes out in a controlled way is respiratory support. We are going to do the exercises to feel our diaphragm and repeat it for as long as you can. Let's even start a stopwatch and try to do it together. Hold on as long as possible and release the air gradually. Are you ready? Let's take a deep breath. Vamos. Yeah. All right, let's try it again. Remember, don't raise your chest. Bien. Now, try to do it with me. If you can't do this exercise called lip trill, try doing it with... The male voice begins here. And female voices will start here. Nota. Brr. Hacemos cinco. Brr. Vamos. If you want more breathing exercises, here is my link to a YouTube video. You have to understand that the exercises for breathing and support should not be approached as physical exercises, like doing sit-ups. It is not just an exercise of control. It requires consciousness. You need to observe the sensations during this exercises to later apply them in singing. So, with the feeling of release, slowly let out the air. We will then sing the vowels. For male voices, let's start with and for female voices. You don't have to sing this sound weak and feeble. Try to release the air in the same way as you did during the exercises when singing. Ahora o. Respiratory support is a progressive technique when you are singing. For a soft phrase, you don't need to support your voice as much. For example, when singing something like I don't need to rely heavily on support. However, if I want to sing a long phrase or a sharp and powerful phrase, that's when I have to control my breath more effectively. To achieve this control, I use respiratory support to regulate the amount of air I release. Oh, 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 oh. 
So you have to maintain the sensation of the voice being supported throughout the musical phrase that you want to sustain. It should sound projected and powerful. Now we will do an exercise with rhythm. We are going to sing sa so su se si fa fo fu fe fi. Additionally, this exercise will provide you with extra support. Try to release your air gradually and directly into the resonator. For male voices, let's start here. And for the female voices, are you ready? Un, dos, tres, y sa so su se si fa fo fu fe fi sa so su se si Fa fo fu fe fi, sa so su se si, fa fo fu fe fi, sa so su se si, fa fo fu fe fi, sa so su se si, fa fo fu fe fi, sa so su se si, fa fo fu fe fi. Activos. Sa so su se si. Fa fo fu fe pi, sa so su se si. Fa fo fu fe pi, sa so su se si. Fa fo fu fe pi, sa so su se si. Fa fo fu fe pi. Try singing a sustained note, and as you sing, focus on maintaining proper respiratory support by releasing all the air in a controlled manner. Try holding the air, and you'll notice a significant difference. Also, attempt to sustain a note while taking in air and releasing it without overthinking the specific notes. Ah. This might result in a slightly rougher, looser, or more airy sound, which can sometimes be useful. However, if you aim to sing with projection and strength, focus on catching the air to support your voice first, then dose it appropriately, ensuring continuous support throughout your singing. Apoyo. I noticed that the jet of air coming out hits my resonator directly, making it much more powerful and focused, without being dosed or projected in another way. To experience a more controlled and dosed airflow, you can try creating a sound with vocal fry. Uh... When done consciously, you'll become aware of what's happening in your body. Your vocal cords will be well closed at that moment, allowing only a very small, gradual release of air. Additionally, you'll feel slight support from your abdomen. This sensation is particularly useful later when singing projected notes. You can even start by attacking a high note using the fry vowel without catching the air. This way, you'll achieve a much more projected sound, as opposed to going straight into it. Uh, Give it a try using the fry vowel. Hacemos A, O, desde el vocal fry. thing for me it was the diaphragm the diaphragm for me it was until uh, five or six years later then I put the, the feet on the stage for the first time was something that I did not know how function then I went with John Sutherland in a tour in Australia and we we were on the stage let's say in three months we have done 40 performances together and I saw this phenomenal instrument and this diaphragm, all the voice always supported and I say, must be something there. Rather than pushing a lot of air and straining your voice, I hope you enjoyed my video. Keep practicing and improving your vocal technique. And as always, I wish you to enjoy the music and your voice. Un besito.